What's good, YouTube? Guy and Kicks here. So in today's video, I'm gonna be reviewing for you guys the Nike Air Max One Crep Hemp. These are one of my favorite Nike GRs to drop this year in 2022. The colorway is very clean and the materials are actually pretty good. So with that being said, let me show you guys a first look and we'll get into this review. All right, so these Air Max ones officially released on September 15, 2022 for a retail price of $180. They officially dropped through the sneakers app, but there were a lot of retailers who also released these as well. So this colorway here is actually a retro Air Max one because the official Cramp Hemp released back in 2004. And here with this 2022 release, they basically made some minor changes to the shoe. They added some different materials to make the shoe look a little bit more premium because back in 2004, I've seen some images, especially on the hemp that they use on the upper, that the hemp pretty much was tearing up and it was looking pretty bad. So hopefully with the 2022 version, they clean things up and the hemp here is a lot better and the shoe can last a longer time. So the official colorway on these Air Max ones is medium brown and mint foam starting with the inside of the shoe the sock lining does have a nice soft feel to it kind of feels like a soft nylon material the insoles are also pretty cool pretty thin though so you're not really going to get a lot of cushioning with these insoles but it does have a light gray color and it does have a nice soft feel kind of feels like suede you do have the nike air on the back here in that mint color and then when you flip the insoles you'll find that traditional air max one outsole design on these insoles which is a pretty cool detail the tongue is primarily made out of that hemp material you do have a nike air max tag on the front in that mint color these come out of the box with these white cotton laces and they only come with one pair of laces as you come down to the toe box you're going to find most of that hemp material that they use here you also find a nylon panel going across the toe box and also transitioning into the mid part of the shoe in a light beige color the mud guard here is made out of suede in that dark brown color and that same material goes all the way to the back of the heel of the shoe on the lateral and medial side you'll find the suede logo in a tumble leather material in that mint color underneath the swoosh logo you find a new book material on the mid panels here also on the eye stays that same new book material can be found on the heel counter of the shoe as well the top eyelids are in the dark brown color and as you can see there around the eyelids you'll find a nice suede material there as well all the way to the heel part of the shoe you find the classic nike air branding embroidered in that mint color this urethane midsole is primarily in a cream color and you'll find the cutout with the air bubble unit inside the air bubble is in that mint color as well well, which is a pretty cool detail. And then all the way to the outsole, instead of having the traditional Air Max outsole design, here they switch things up with this crepe material. This crepe material is actually pretty cool because it is biodegradable as well. In terms of sizing with the Air Max ones, I recommend you go at least true to size with these. Other Air Maxes that I own, I've gone with a size 10 and I felt like they were just a little bit too long. With these, I went with a half a size down and I kind of made a mistake. And I don't know if it's because of the hemp, maybe it's not as stretchy as regular mesh, but these do feel a little bit more snug than I expected. I would have preferred going with my regular size 10 with these. So consider that. I don't know if it's the hemp. Maybe I just need to break them in a little bit more and see what happens. But I would have preferred going with my regular size 10. In terms of comfort with the Air Max ones, they're going to be okay. It's not going to be your most comfortable sneaker that you own, probably. I would say that the cushioning here is definitely on the firmer side compared to other sneakers like a 990 V3, for example, like a 2002R. They're definitely not going to be as bouncy, but they're also not super firm either. All right, guys. So my final thoughts on these Air Max ones. In my opinion, these are one of my favorite Nikes to drop this year over. Overall, I really like this colorway. I like the browns because it just makes it very easy to wear. And also with the mint color, gives it a little bit of pop and makes this colorway shine very, very well. I actually do appreciate some of the materials that they use here, especially the suede and the nubuck. For Nike standards, it actually looks and feels pretty good. The overall construction of my pair is actually pretty good. I do have some minor QC complaints, especially around the midsole here where the upper and midsole connect. You will find a little bit of glue stains towards the heel part of the shoe, but it's still nothing major, not nothing to really be concerned about. One thing we do have to keep in mind and we'll see over time is how the hemp material, especially on the toe box, is going to hold up. I've seen some photos from the 2004 edition and I've seen some of those shoes basically have issues with the hemp, the hemp creasing up and ripping. So hopefully with these, Nike made some better changes and used better materials so that the hemp on these actually holds up. Another thing about this hemp toe box is that it's not breathable at all. So that's one thing that I do miss 
from regular mesh but overall guys i think these are very clean not a lot of hype behind these i actually checked on StockX. you could probably get these below retail if you buy them through StockX instead of buying them through a regular retail shop so with that being said guys let me lace these bad boys up and show you guys how they look on feet Alright guys, so that's it for me. Hopefully this video brought you a detailed look of the Nike Air Max 1 Crepe Hemp. Let me know in the comments below what you think about this colorway and do you agree with me? Are these one of the best Nike releases to drop this year? And like always guys, thank you so much for tuning in to all the new subscribers. I appreciate you guys so much. Anyone who's new to this channel, you're stopping by for the first time, you like this type of content, you want to watch more sneaker reviews, something different, definitely feel free to subscribe hit that like button comment below as well i'll leave my link to my instagram page where you guys can go follow me there as well so that's it guys catch you guys in the next one peace